This archived clip from Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Join us live every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. It wouldn't be Halloween without pumpkins. That's true. And those, our friends at NYC Resistor, the hackerspace just around the corner, they made some cool hacked pumpkins this weekend, and they were kind enough to come and show us our, their hacked pumpkins. All right, who's coming on up? Who Here, take have? the mic, Matt. Come on up. All right, what's your name? Hi, I'm Ari. Okay, cool. And what do you have I here? like your mustache, Ari. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, this is a color cycling um, LED pumpkin. It's just got a little um, blinkum inside and some foil, and it's just shining away. Kill the lights there for a second. Ooh, glowing no RGB pumpkin. <laughs> I, like the, I like how you did the X's for eyes there. That's a nice touch there. I call it my drunk face pumpkin. A drunk face, oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> and that's right. a blinkum in there? It is, yeah. Wonderful. Great, well thanks for showing to us. Thank you. All right, who do we have? Hi. Whoa. Okay. It's a big one. Big one, yeah. Hi. What's your name? I'm Katerina Mota. Hi Katerina, what did you make for your pumpkin? Um, It's a capacitive pumpkin. Basically, uh, it should light up when you touch it. Oh, wow. So what, so, kind of, what kind of electronics drive something like um, this? It's an Arduino running the CapSense library, and basically it's using the pumpkin itself as the electrode. Nice. So when trick-or-treaters come up and touch yeah. it, they'll get a nice yeah, surprise. Exactly. <laughs> so you, you, put the, you put two electrodes into like the, the flesh of the pumpkin or something? Or? Yeah, just one. Just, just one, one electrode, which is like the sensor for the library. And oh. basically, because uh, what happens, like the first one I made, it dried up after one day, so um, it was no longer conductive. So we made a fresh one today, and it will last for about a day until it dries. Oh, so you have to make another one come Halloween, or? Yeah, I guess maybe. You, I don't have to. Or it's, line it with the You have to make yeah. another project. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so fun. Thanks, Katerina. So thank, thank, thank you for showing it to thanks, us. Are right, we have more NYC resistors here. Who else we, do we have? Come on in. Now this is a novel idea for a uh, for a jack o' lantern. What's your name? I'm David Wertze. Oh, whoa! Oh, you lost oh. the horn there. Okay, there you go. That's all right. Just got a haircut. And you have an analog pumpkin hack here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did you, can you describe what you did? Uh, so basically, my friend Ryan uh, Olaf made this. I was gonna actually do something uh, not quite as impressive. Basically, just had a resistance sensor, and then when they get close to a rickroll, but none of the electronics came in on time. So we kind of started looking at the pumpkin by itself as a form, seeing what we can do with it. Um, then we turned it on the side, decided it was wearable. Um, it was a little gooey at first, it's a little better now. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. Um, and we decided to make it really pumpkin creepy. So we had like sharp teeth and then we gave it a little mohawk, which part of it fell off. We just did up toothpicks, it's really easy to do. Oh, that's a great idea. I really like this idea. But you, so you have to borrow from your friends the extra um, yes, uh, yes. Stems. We happen to have a few extra pumpkins laying around, so uh, we went ahead and just kind of like stegosaurused it out a bit. That's great. That's a great pumpkin hat. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Now you may recognize our next uh, NYC resistor pumpkin hacker here. This is Liz, who is here for our 3D uh, modeling show. Very multi-talented, Liz. You yes. have pumpkins. You 3D model. What don't I you do? I do it all. I do it all. So this was another CapSense library, but um, it's it's gone a little crazy now. Maybe we can hit the legs. Um, but uh, so it's the it's same thing. Pumpkin. It's got yeah, it's got the Arduino and it's got the resistor and the CapSense library, and I've made robotted the little spirals. So. Oh was, yeah. And it, so you can look inside. Ooh. I don't know where the camera. Show the camera. Woo! Arduino in there. It is yeah. disco light pumpkin. Yeah. Ah. Very cool. All right. All right. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Liz. Sure. All okay. right. Who do we have now? Now wait a second. What what's the Halloween costume? What's the what are you going as here? Uh, I really couldn't tell you. Oh, it's just a yeah, it's just a general superhero with a glowing crotch. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll get to the costume parade later. Yeah. Right, now. right now, we want to talk to you about your pumpkin. It's not my fault. You got distracted by a glowing crotch. So, what is your pumpkin like? Can you show it to the camera? Maybe we can yeah. get the lights. Whoa, he's spooky. It's um. Can you guys see his eyes spinning? Ooh. <laughs> that's crazy that's awesome how'd you make this uh well it's got a couple of gear motors inside and some leds it's really nothing much going on in there otherwise i wouldn't exactly call this interactive it's more just active mm -hmm. Hack. yeah well yeah it's active, active. Yeah, i like you your cap capton tape oh uh, thank you this is to protect List me cups. from the high heat of the lamps <laughs> now, can you point that uh into yeah, sure. the camera there so, so people can see what you can see it's mostly just held together by uh, with screws and things and tape, it's, you know, it's a pumpkin. It's going to rot, so not too worried about it lasting long, as long as it works for a couple of days. 
Cool. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome. That's great. a great little one. I think it would look really nice in somebody's window. Whoa. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank Raphael. Thank you. All right, we've got one more, one more here. Pumpkin. I like this one. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, wow. So what's your name? I'm Shelby Arnold. Great. Well, thank you for being here. Now, who, who is this on the pumpkin for those who don't uh, know? This is Doctor Who. And when I push this button on the side here, I get a, um, a little LED effect. And then we've also got a sound effect here. Cool. So. That's nice. Not just lights or motors, but also sound. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And I see he's got just a light bulb inside, right? Yeah, yeah. So the light bulb Straight is a separate. Uh -huh. And did you, how did you do the, the, the carving on the front? Did you have a pattern that you use or you yep. just did? I, I took a photo from the internet and Photoshopped it. So I posterized it and had um, just some basic shapes. Then I pin pricked around the edges and scooped out. So where the um, pumpkin is thinnest, that's where it's lightest, and you just cut away the skin a little bit if you just want a line. So you, do you work while the light is in there to see wh how it's going? Or Yeah, um, probably about halfway through I start using a, just like a desk lamp and just put it over there while I'm working. How long did that take to carve that? Just a few, maybe two hours at the most. It oh, doesn't, that's not bad it at all. doesn't take too long once you kind of know what you're doing. I think that's well worth it, two hours for something like that. That oh, looks yeah. great. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks awesome. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks, Shelby. And thanks everybody from NYC Resistor yes. for coming and showing us their pumpkin hacks. You guys are great.